In this video, we will take a look at finding distance when we're given the total time of a trip. If I had a total time of 8 for a trip, and it took me 2 hours to go the first leg, to find the second leg, you would simply subtract 8 minus 2. Similarly, if I don't know how much time I spent on the first leg, but the total time was still 8, we would subtract 8 minus the t. As you see, when we have total time, for the first box under time, we will use t. And for the second, we will use total minus t. The order of subtraction is very important, so we must make sure we're subtracting the total minus the t. In this example, we see Lupe run into the forest and then return home by the same route. Organizing our information in a table, we see that rate times time equals a distance. Going into the forest, her rate was 10 miles per hour. Coming out of the forest, her rate was 15 miles per hour. And we know the total time is 5 hours. When we have the total time, the first cell is t, the second is total, or 5, minus t. This means for our distance, multiplying rate by time, 10t going in, and 15 times 5 minus t coming out. So if it's 10t going in, and 15 times 5 minus t going out, same distance, we can set those equal to each other. We can quickly solve this equation by first distributing the 15 through giving us 75 minus 15t. Add the 15t to both sides, so the variable is all on one side. 25t equals 75. To get the t alone, we divide both sides by 25. This gives us t equals 3. We said t was the trip in, 3 hours. Coming out, then, is 5 minus t. 5 minus 3 is 2 hours. Let's look at another example, where we are given the total time, and use that to solve the problem. On this problem, Ian goes on a long 230-mile trip. He goes partway at a fast rate, and the rest at a slow rate. Let's organize what we have in a table. Rate times time equals distance. And when he was going fast, he was driving 45 miles per hour. When he had to slow down to 25 miles per hour. His total trip took 6 hours. Again, we used t for the first time, and total minus t, or 6 minus t, for the second time. Multiplying, the first leg of the trip is 45t, the second leg is 25 times 6 minus t. If the first leg is 45t, and the second leg is 25 times 6 minus t, we need to add them together to get the total trip. 45t, plus 25 times 6 minus t equals the total trip of 230 miles. We can quickly solve this equation by first distributing through the parentheses. When we do, we get 45t plus 150 minus 25t equals 230. Combining like terms will give us 20t plus 150 equals 230. Subtracting 150 from both sides, as we start to isolate the t. 20t is equal to 80. Finally, dividing by 20 will give us t equals 4. He drove fast for 4 hours, and slow, 6 minus 4, 2 hours.